Hey YouTubers, good to see everyone tonight. Um, just want to get on to a quick video. Uh, I've been super busy over the last little while with work and uh, I'm not complaining about that. Uh, that's been a huge blessing, especially in this economy and I'm grateful that uh, I have work. But um, I just want to do a little bit tonight, uh, give you a little progress report on uh, some boxes that will be going out. Uh, my little sort of office back here in my house um, where I do my videos is uh, strewn with uh, boxes full of t-shirts and prizes and stuff like that and uh, I'm, I'm just waiting on a couple more we have some really kind people who've asked if they could send some stuff and I could put it into the boxes and how can I say no to that so I hope no one's getting impatient out there uh, these will go out absolutely as soon as those things come I'll show you I've got kind of an assembly line back here and I'll get my kids helping and and to get prizes and t-shirts sent out but uh, just want to do a little video tonight, uh, kind of updating you. Um, Weaver Leather, I got the, got the leather today, and uh, the CEO of Weaver Leather, Chris Weaver, sh uh, gave a little shout out, so I'm going to show you that here in a moment. And uh, then I got a couple things to read to you that uh, some people sent me and said they would love to uh, have it read to our Build Along team. So um, without further ado, uh, let's jump in. Uh, it's my honor to introduce you to one of our great sponsors, Weaver Leather. And uh, they've been so gracious to us. They're, they're you know, providing leather and, and uh, some thread and, and some big hand-stitching needles so that we all can make some sheaths. And uh, those are going to go out, and pretty soon we'll put a little tutorial up uh, on how to make a sheath. I'll show you just a, a simple pouch-style sheath, and uh, that'll be a lot of fun. So anyway, uh, let me introduce you to uh, Mr. Chris Weaver, and I'll uh, let him kind of take it away here. Hello everyone, congratulations to all of you who have participated with the Build Along with Tim. Tim has been somebody that's been hugely helpful to our company and hugely helpful to me. He's been a coach of mine here for, for more than the past year and uh, he's been helpful in helping us grow our business and, and we want to give back and be able to help him in ways that, that we can. Uh, certainly appreciate and admire anybody that's getting involved in the leather business. Uh, the knife making business and all that's related. Uh, our, our business has grown here over 40 years, starting with, with an individual that had a passion for leather, and, and we're glad that, that you can participate to do the same. So uh, thanks again, everyone. Have a great day. So here's one of the boxes, and you can see the quality of the leather that Weaver gave uh, to us for this project. These will make some great sheaths for our Build Along team members. So I got a neat surprise in the mail today, and I almost just ripped it open without realizing what it was, but um, realized I needed to do an unboxing. So you can see I already kind of opened it already, and uh, going through the motions on that front flap just a little bit. But this is a neat box from uh, Penn Football 71. Don sent this to me, and uh, so I wanted to open this up. And uh, yes, Nebulax123, I am not using a pair of scissors, okay? I'm using a beautiful Bark River knife that I won in some random contest on YouTube. And uh, here we go. So, uh, opening this up, and I see Don's knife, which uh, just has a beautiful kind of a pancake pocket sheath or neck knife sheath, um, just really beautifully done. And... Uh, tied up securely. Beautiful knife. We'll look at that here in a moment. And then a letter that he's asking me to open uh, on YouTube and uh, read to you a little bit. So I'll read the contents of that a little later. And uh, inside is this beautiful Rick Hinder, uh pen. Some string tied around it. Some Fisher Space Pen refills. Uh, looks like you can write a long time with this thing. Really beautiful. I don't think that's going to run out of ink anytime uh, soon. I got three refills, so uh, very cool pen. And uh, let's check this knife out. You can see it's kind of like the size of like a neck knife and um, really neat, nicely done. It's definitely it's sort of a Kylie-ish knife, actually. And uh, so... Um, Anyway, uh, let's get to that letter. Okay, so um, 
I'm usually doing this in front of my computer on my webcam and, and uh, so it seems kind of strange looking at a camera and doing this, but um, uh, Don sent me this really cool letter to read to everybody and it says, uh, from Don to Tim, please read on YouTube. Uh, Dear Sugar Creek Forge, build a long team and Mr. Fabulous and really, really ridiculously good looking knife maker Tim. <laughs> and my ego just got built up or something. Uh, this is Don. I'm still alive. How you doing? Everyone shout out, oh, very well. Had to shut the Don YouTube site down because I want to do some business other than knives on YouTube and work in the career coaching space. So I have to be on the quiet for now. However, this does not mean I am not with you in spirit. I lost 25 pounds to eating veggies and fruit. Please thank Jay Davis for me on that. If you want to lose weight and are big boned like me, eat more fruit and less cow. <laughs> now I'm hotter than Brad Pitt, ladies. Wink, wink. Oh yeah, here's my knife. Please comment on what you think of it. The pen is the pen is mightier than the sword. Let me show you. There's Don's knife, kind of a little neck knife, really awesome. Beautiful sheath, gorgeous sheath. Uh, oh yeah, here's my knife. Please comment on what you think of it. The pen is mightier than the sword, but not our knife team. I would like to present this Rick Hinderer Extreme Duty Pen for Tim for his efforts with a lot of ink refills in case he ever needs to refill it. I think he will like it and hope he keeps it always, I'm sorry, hope he keeps it because it will always work for him when he is out in the field at work. Always remember, done. And then he's got kind of a cool, cool signature here, his uh, Sugar Creek Forge built along knife. Uh, P.S. Behind every successful man, there is Guy Tat Tat's plastic goat. <laughs> so there you go, Guy Tat. There's a shout out for uh, Tactical Goat there. But uh, Don, I want to thank you so much uh, from the bottom of my heart. It was so fun having you on the uh, Build Along. And I understand totally the explanation of wanting to do some business on YouTube and having to be a little bit careful with knives. And um, I understand that totally. My uh, business is coaching. And um, I, I, I understand that completely. Just want you to know it was a privilege, and I'll speak for our team and say that thanks so much for uh, being on this build along with us, and we wish you all the best in your new venture. Um, I want to thank you, especially for this pen. Um, very special to me. I've, I've really wanted to have one of these pens, and if I were to pick a color, um, it, you know, this kind of gun metally blue, this is exactly what I would have picked. And it's uh, extra special to me because um, Rick Hinderer, uh, I don't know if you knew this or not, but uh, Rick Hinderer, who made this pen, is also my knife-making mentor. He lives about 45 minutes from my house. And uh, years ago, when I wanted to make knives, I'm kind of a common-sense learner, and I need somebody to show me how. I can read books and stuff like that, but I, I learn best when someone shows me. And... Uh, I was looking through an article, uh, I bought my first blade magazine, and I hadn't made a knife yet, and uh, looking through that magazine, I was just thinking to myself, man, if I could just find someone near me that makes knives and could show me how, and I was flipping through just absent-mindedly, and I saw this picture of a knife that I really liked, and I thought, man, whoever made that knife, that style is exactly what I would want to make, and so uh, I looked under the caption, and it said, uh, Rick Hinderer you know, made this knife and that he lives uh, just outside of Worcester, Ohio. And I thought, man, I can't believe it. Someone close uh, close by, maybe this guy could uh, show me a thing or two. And I had talked to a couple knife makers and they had been real secretive, you know. They, they resented the fact that any, you know, I guess whippersnapper would want to learn how to make knives. And so I was a little nervous, but I uh, got his number through information and I called and his wife Lori answered the phone and I, I just told her, I said, hey, you know, I live in Sugar Creek and I'm about 45 minutes away from you guys and I said, uh, I'm really interested in making knives and I was wondering if I could come out, and, you know, if Rick's the kind of guy that I could just talk to a little bit and she said, oh, sure, come on out. He's, you know, he likes to help people and uh, about that time he walked in and she said, hey, he's right here, you can talk to him. So I talked to him on the phone and Super friendly, said, hey, come on out. He was working uh, for the fire department at the time. He was a full-time maker, but um, doing a lot of stuff with the fire department and um, an EMT. 
And uh, so I went out to his shop and, uh, you know, just right away he wanted to answer questions and things like that and said, hey, why don't you come out and, you know, whenever you can and I'll see what I can do. So I went out on a Saturday and, and he helped me make uh, a knife. I'd made a couple knives at the time and I, I showed them to him and they were really clunky and ugly, but uh, he was complimentary. He he did, he, sh he said, hey, here's some common mistakes that knife makers make and uh, but just real nice, and so I ended up uh, learning to forge and learning to make knives uh, in his shop. Helped him uh, with some of the knives that he makes a little bit, just some, you know, kind of minor things like uh, that were needed on, on like some big orders and stuff like that. He did all the, you know, the grinding and heat treating and things like that. I think I profiled a couple knives or something like that. And uh, just a great guy. In fact, um, I called him during our build along because uh, I hoped that, you know, I'd go out to his shop and uh, video him a little bit talking to us. And so, um, but when I called and wanted to do that, he was in New Jersey at a, at a knife show. And what made me laugh so hard is that our very own friend, who was also a judge on the build along Gavco, was at that show and uh, entered a drawing to have a chance to buy one of Rick's knives and uh, ended up getting one of his knives so I just had to laugh that I was trying to call him at the show and then Rick ended up texting me and we texted back and forth while he was at the show there where Gav uh, got that knife so it's really cool so Don I, I don't know what to say this is one of the nicest gifts that uh, anyone has given in that you possibly could send to me and I, I really appreciate it very much buddy so uh, thank you so much I guess it's kind of letter day, too, because um, I got permission from one of our team members, Matt, Moda57, to um, read uh, an excerpt from a letter that he sent to me that was so powerful, and, and uh, he PM'd me and said, hey, Tim, if you want to read part of the letter, that's fine, and, and it just touched my heart, because, again, the fun thing about this build-along is not it's not even the knives or prizes and things like that, although those, those are nice. It's nice to be honored. It's nice to have judges look at the knives and honor some of our fellow makers, make their choices on what they liked, and, and uh, I, you know, that's, that's great. But I think all of us would say the friendships and things that have happened, um, providential things that have happened in people's lives as a result, are, are really the most important things, and, and I'm so tickled that uh, I get these kind of letters. So um, I'll just read this to you. Um, he says, Hey, Tim, I would like to thank you for the opportunity to be a part of the build it may seem like a small thing to some, but I must tell you it meant a lot to me. My dad passed away in October of last year, and the process of the build really helped me get through some tough times. I looked forward to each new video and truly had a great time. In fact, I used my dad's tools and worked in his shop. Matt, that is just that is so cool. I even named the knife after him. Uh, it looks like the waspy or maybe the wasabi waspy wasabi his nickname sorry man if i kind of butchered that a little bit w-a-s-b-e-e -E, waspy um i am an artist by trade and uh, if you ever need anything in that regard please let me know so a million thanks and if there's another build please count me in matt um matt we just like again on behalf of the team i'll speak uh for my brother's on the team, and I'm sure they'll leave comments too, but uh, I just really want to thank you for being on the Build Along. just want to honor your dad, and uh, what a what an amazing and fitting thing that uh, he could be honored um, here in this YouTube community, and that you actually built the knife using his tools. What an heirloom, man. And uh, from all of us, our condolences in uh, the loss of your father. And um, we just pray God's blessing and comfort on you and, and on your family members. And uh, it's just great uh, that we could be a part of a team and bring some comfort and solace to you uh, during, during a pretty tough time. So we appreciate you a lot, buddy. And uh, really want to thank you for uh, being a part of what we were doing here.